story you'll see only on Eyewitness News. We've learned the town of Johnston has big plans for a series of new wind turbines right along the Cranston border. And construction could begin as soon as next week. Eyewitness News reporter Kim Kalunian joins us live now from the newsroom with the exclusive details. Kim. Well, Mike and Caroline, we've learned these turbines are set to stand more than 500 feet tall. That's taller than the Superman building. And I've also learned today that they could be generating power as early as this time next year. Six towering turbines like this one in Portsmouth planned for industrial sites near the Johnston landfill. Green Development LLC is behind the $84 million project that could be online by the end of next year. I'm glad to see that they're, they're, that our town is coming on board because we do have those other renewable energy sources such as the methane gas from the landfill and we have a biodigestive plant. Johnston Mayor Joseph Policina says the town welcomes the new turbines. According to documents, each is set to stand at 519 feet, taller than the Superman building. Policina says neighbors shouldn't be worried. It's in an uh, unobtrusive area where the, the, you're not going to have homes around that you know people would have issues with. Um, basically, a lot of them is farmland areas, old farms. So, I, I mean, I think it's good, you know, with, with doing our part. The turbines are set to be built on private industrial sites near the landfill, generating energy that will be sold to National Grid. Johnston's planning and zoning boards have already given preliminary approval. The last step, signing off on a height variance, which could happen later this month. Green Development tells us they'll break ground next week, with construction beginning in earnest in December or January. The turbines are set to be online by late 2018. And Mayor Policina tells us in addition to collecting payment in lieu of taxes from this project, it will also be generating scholarship money for local kids. Live in the newsroom, I'm Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News.